Hi, Roy Alton, 9 for Alton Hemlock. A lot of times people will go on LegalZoom or other places to form a business and think that they can do so by effectively being their own attorney. I would suggest that that's probably not the best thing to necessarily do, but I would recommend that, that before you start a business, before you decide what kind of entity you're going to use, whether it's going to be a limited partnership, a sub S corporation, a C corporation, or a general partnership, or maybe a not-for-profit corporation, that you sit down with an attorney who is familiar with these issues and can advise and direct you. Uh, making an initial mistake uh, in the formation is kind of like being just 2% off course when you're going across the Pacific. And so you're off by 2% when you leave, leave shore, and all of a sudden that little correction that hasn't been made 5,000 miles later puts you hundreds if not thousands of miles away where you thought you were going. And so it is so critical that at the beginning of forming a business that you have good legal counsel to advise you, not just on, on the formation of the business, but also about the contracts you're going to be executing with employees, with vendors, with landlords, suppliers, manufacturers, and other kinds of, of, of folks that, that are going to be involved with your business. And of course, insurance is a huge issue. So if there's a question of why you need an attorney when you form a business, I think it's self-evident that by not doing it, one little mistake could be catastrophic down the road. Please call us Oppenheim Law, Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Thank you.